It's not always the most flamboyant and exciting cars at the show that are the most important. OK, so a new Ferrari might be all big and shiny and thrilling, but who cares? They're not exactly going to sell tens and tens of thousands of them. It's actually the more mundane new cars that are more important, things like the new Ford Mondeo. Now, the old Mondeo may have been a rather saggy, baggy old thing, but it was very important. Some would say it was the first time in about 30 years that Ford made a car that was towards the top of its class, and that makes the arrival of the new Mondeo critical, crucial in fact which is terrifying when you look closely at the thing because the responsibility of changing it was colossal. Every line, every intersection of lines, every detail, every little point on the car, doubtless was the result of millions of pounds of spending and is extremely important to Ford. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens and how it's received. I reckon the end result looks something perhaps more like a VW Passat than the old Ford Mondeo, but that's just how it looks. To find out how it drives, we went to the launch. This is the new Ford Mondeo, a new model that's longer, wider and higher than the old car. Comes with new engines, new transmission, new suspension. Ford say this is their first virtual reality car. It's a car that was designed and built without ever leaving the engineers' computer screens. And Ford say that saved them a fantastic amount of time and money in technical drawings and modelling of the new car. If you were cynical, you'd say, well, they didn't have to do that much work because they've simply copied Volkswagen's Passat. The resemblance really is uncanny. Ford are prepared to say that they used the Passat as a benchmark when they were planning the replacement for Mondeo, which after all was launched in 1993 and is one of Britain's best-selling cars. But benchmarking and cloning are two different things. Make no mistake, this sets new standards for Ford in the marketplace. In the first place, you're sitting higher, there's more hip, leg and shoulder room for driver and passenger excellent legroom in the back for rear seat passengers and as you'd expect from the curved roof excellent headroom both front and rear an all-new interior two-tone on the top of the range models but uh, black in this car with tasteful brushed aluminium around the center console and on the steering wheel it all looks very good Other big changes, well, 16-inch wheels which fill the wheel arches and give the car a much sleeker shape. Under the bonnet, a new range of Ford family engines, the Duratex. 1.8 and 2-litre petrols and the Duratorque, a 2-litre turbo diesel. Ford say they're a lot smoother than the old ZTEC engines. They give lower emissions and better economy. You can't say fairer than that. But the thing those thousands of Mondeo drivers who are going to get one as their company car will want to know, how does it go? Tear shit up! Ah! Well, you have to say, they've done an absolutely brilliant job. Mind you, the old Mondeo was no slouch. I remember the launch in Scotland at Glen Eagles with Jackie Stewart hurtling us around the Highland roads with two of us uh, gibbering quietly with fright in the back. But they've done a huge giant stride forward from that car with this one. And when you think, I mean, this is the epitome of a middle of the road family saloon from Ford. It's what the Cortina and the Sierra were a few years ago. And it feels more like a BMW or an Audi to drive. They've done a tremendous job with suppression of road noise and wind noise. 
and the steering is beautiful. It's so pin sharp and responsive. A really good job. And if you were unfortunate enough to hit anything, well, the Mondeo must be one of the safest cars around. The interior is absolutely festooned with airbags. They explode at you from all directions. And they've paid a lot of attention to the body shell for crash absorption as well. And that includes a big tubular steel bar at the front behind the bumpers to avoid low speed collision damage and lower the insurance rating. That also adds to the rigidity of the body shell. It's 70% stiffer than old Mondeo and that plays a big part in the precision of the ride and handling. In short, one of the best-selling cars in Britain suddenly got a whole lot better. In comparison to Passat, well, the new Passat is very much a facelift on the existing car. This Mondeo is a huge leap forward.